the Duke Milan. Feet, Craigasm. Brad, witty, Alex's brother, innocent. Of course. So what I know from Until Dawn was, it was your typical horror movie cliche fuckfest. Alex, motivated, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend, insecure. All of the characters were basically your horror movie tropes. So I'm not surprised that these two are part of our main cast. Never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Say nothing? Resentful? I had to work? It's embarrassing. Um. It's embarrassing. Or resentful. Ah! Well, anyway. Let's get this well, all loaded up. we were too late. Too late to make a choice. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Wait, what? This is so horror movie cliche. I was invited. Not good with people. Dude. You know I'm not, like, the best around new people. Whatever. Just shut up. You gotta loosen up. Oh, come on. You are definitely gonna yeah. die. Everything on this trip. <laughs> Wait. Trust me. I want you to have a good time. Brad is gonna live. We're gonna make sure he lives stupid, through like, all of this. Run around naked or something. Metaphorically. Just go with it. Just go with it. <laughs> Alright, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. I don't sympathize with this fuckboy. <laughs> it's been two weeks. Must be tough. Yeah, I gotcha. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Should we be drinking and diving? Pretty sure there should be rules about that. Hey. Traits updated, wait. Ooh, Brad. Brad is truthful, witty, eager, and anxious. He's not innocent anymore, but it's slightly coming in the background. He's, he has a possibility of being bold. What about Conrad? Brad and Conrad? Are there any other characters? Wait. Is Brad the main character? Oh. Help Alex prepare for the trip. Got it. Fliss, Julia, Alex. Five people. Most of them are gonna die. Haha! <laughs> so, uh, can I get your input on something? No. Yeah, what? It's just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Lay it on us. Lay it on your little brother. Sentimental, go with your gut or give it some thought. Go with your gut. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey! Julia, excited Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend. Conrad, Julia's brother. Hey, wait, I recognize you. You were... I don't remember your name from oh, movies, but I recognize sorry. you! Haha! <laughs> Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. Wow. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way. My little bro. Hey. Brad! Hi! <laughs> feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a colon with me? Every second. This is so cliche. A lot of seconds, it's playing exactly like a horror movie. Apprehensive? Relax. Just drink. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. Hey, 
Don't worry. Don't worry, Brad. We're gonna get you through this. I'm gonna hold off on right checking on, the menu all the time because I don't wanna disrupt the conversations or the flow of the story. So let's just let it play out. We'll go blind. You ever do any diving before? Say nothing, self-assured all the time. Never, really. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. We're gonna be gentle. Uh... Got you. <laughs> oh, where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Who is that? Ooh, Fliss, impatient, captain of the Duke of Milan, courageous. Hi, Captain. I invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh... so this wasn't your boat. So is everybody on board and ready to go? What's with the ominous music? Uh, you're selling. I'm buying. There goes the beer. This wasn't your boat and you opened beer on it? How disrespectful. We're going diving. <laughs> Don't worry, Brad. Return it to the sea. That's it, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh boy. Is she gonna be Brad's love interest? See those hot pits. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Just take the nice dive. Brad was so sure, optimistic. Brad did his homework. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. Damn. What you got? So. What did we find down there? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? We could get illegal. Who cares? Can't dive, puppy face. Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine, as long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Do not touch anything cursed, please. I can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? Where's Brad? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Where is he? This is a small boat. Uh. Brad? Where's Brad? Over here? Hmm. I don't think might be a way in. Why is Brad out at sea? He's the only one that can't dive. Uh, how do we operate this? Uh, what? Huh? How do I move this around? Uh, I don't get it. The hell was that? Brad, is he downstairs? Hey, hey. Almost got the gear good to go. Concerned? Interested? We're supposed to be looking for Brad. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. 
Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. She can hear you. She's right there. Play it cool for now. Making a fortune on this trip. Play it cool. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. You know, she could leave us in the middle of All nowhere. Right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Relationship updated. Where is Brad? There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Taking this. Hmm. Do we scroll left, scroll right? Gap in the tail. Ooh, it's the front. That's cool. No ghosts under here. Okay. Gap in the tail. Is that gonna factor in somehow later? Hello. Ah, Brad should be here. What's this? The weather! We're Did turning it... Uh, we're turning it no, off? Not really. But then why are we why messing with it? Do its thing. Lamau? Yo, Brad. Where are you? You okay? Brad. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Don't worry. You should know better. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Took more than that just to screw up the trip. Let's get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. So. We've talked to Brad. We've talked to everyone. Can we go on the dive now? What's this? Huh. What am I looking at here? Ah! Ah! What is that? Premonition? High and dry? What? What does that mean? How's that gonna factor in later? Anyway, can we dive now? Can we go see the haunted plane? Hmm, where do we go? Who do we talk to? Do we just go down here? Hey. Hey, Ben. Hi. We're right in your face. Man, we got some good stuff on the camera. Yeah, you did. Where do we go? Do we talk to her to start the dive? Can we start the dive now, please? Hello. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Sorry about earlier. Yep. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. No point being little just, shits about oh, this. We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dive the couple of wrecks, annoyed enough to know the rules. Dive the couple of wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Hey guys. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Thanks a lot. Can't we just leave and not go into the whole horror movie shit? Who's gonna know? I get it. How much? Say nothing. You know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Oh, we're gonna get into a whole lot of trouble. People gonna die. The question is when? How do we start? How do we start the dive? The Duke of Milan. Hmm. So we've already, hey, we could activate okay. this. So there this we go. This is the rebreather, way cooler than a regular scuba setup. 
It takes all that CO2 that you normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Appreciative, playful, looking good. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Does he have a thing for Fliss? Looking for a first mate captain. God damn it. The only person we really like is Brad. What's this? What's this? Take the weapon. I got the bank stick. Right, yeah, I heard that about Good you. Good to go. Ha ha. Ha ha. Hey, On a shark? Nope. Julia, take. Wait, what? Talk to Julia. She's right there waiting for you to talk to her. Bitter? Romantic. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. <laughs> Are you gonna bring your bang stick? <laughs> ah ha! The front cabin is gonna pop its portholes. So, this is awkward. Why does there have to be love triangles in this bullshit? God damn it. The types of people that get dragged into horror stories, why are they all fucking morons and jackasses? It's like no good person ever gets dragged into a horror story. You always want them to die. Maybe not Brad though. Hey, a shark! Too bad Fliss is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. Cool. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Oh, yeah, we're gonna totally skip over that part and go back to the boat. Nothing exciting going on down there. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. <laughs> well, <laughs> sure, why not? Sure, why not? Y'all are mean. Brad's all alone. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Self-assured, subdued. Mm, don't ask a lady about her money. You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Impressed? It would be my pleasure. Uninterested. Sorry you got enough on my plate. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Uh-oh. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan shipshape. Aye, aye. Is there a storm coming? Oh, we're playing as her now. Let's go downstairs. Talk to Brad. Brad, you okay, bud? Wait, what was that? There was something over here. What is this? Will it open? This is your boat, right? Wait, 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 wait! I wasn't done reading! Why'd you put it- Hey. Okay. I think we're supposed to hold it- God damn these controls! Pick it up! Aha! Uh -huh. Informal notification that you're in default of your obligation to make regular payments of your loan. Oh. Unless outstanding payment is received, we will have no choice but to begin foreclosure and collateral of your marine vessel. She's in debt! Oh, you got your own interests. 
So let's say we find something valuable, and you live through all of this. You could pay off your debt. Hmm. Are you gonna get together with Brad? Where's Brad? Brad! Or is this your room? I think this is your room. Shroud of Innocence. Oh. Perfume? What? You're actually interested in that? Okay. Huh? We're picking this up. Shroud of Innocence. Um, okay. What was that supposed to do? I don't know what that was supposed to do. I guess it's supposed to tell us more about her character. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Sympathetic. It's your vacation. Disapproving. Go easy on the booze. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Probing. How do you know? Concerned. Hope they know what they're doing. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Surprise, what are the dives? Are you close with your brother? Hmm. What other dives have they done? When I got the booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur, but I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Okie dokie. Let's go back up. So. Did they find anything of interest down there? Are we gonna finally have the drink with this? We're gonna have a drink, aren't we? Let's check the camera because I'm concerned. Slightly. Check the camera. Ah, there we go. Pick it up. God damn, these controls are so fiddly. That is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Are we gonna see a ghost down there? Or a shark? Or them? In danger? Nothing. Okay. Whoops. Anyway, let's have that drink. You've been staring at us for too long. How do we input this? Wait! Going around in a circle. Hey, there we go. How's it hanging? Stern, you can monitor the dive. Relax. Taking advantage of your relaxation time. You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. Playful curious. Hmm. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. That makes no sense. That is such a corny pickup line. You need to mind the speed limit. I have to keep track of a dive, but... I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private. Just, just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> Some different intercourse. Right. I hope we don't fuck up their lives by choosing to not monitor the dive. Press the button. Weather looks clear. Okay. Okie dokie. So. How do we continue? Check the binoculars. Oh my god, are we gonna see the show? Uh oh. Coast Guard? Pirates? What's that about? Fishing boat? That's not that the, Coast not Guard. the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Confident. Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Pirates! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Guys, you gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water! What? What was that about? Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We You're the one that rammed into it! Problem. 
What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Uh-oh. Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. You fuck boy! Well, shoot, Shut you, up! You think it's more like 30? I can do 30. Oh my god. Right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. What the fuck, dude? Why? You're the reason why we're gonna die. Everyone in horror stories are fucking nitwits. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's that hand reaching? Is he gonna grab on to something? Is he alive? Hello. A lot of barnacle. Oh, no. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. I see the ship in the distance. Huh. Good on you, Connie. South Pacific wreck site. The turret. We can get in through there. This. This is a really bad idea. Things. Whoa! Whoa! Ah, shit! I wasn't paying attention! Whoa, careful. Could be dangerous. Goddamn! I should have paid more attention. Stupid uh, fucking cutscenes making me drop my guard. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, The hell go. is this? Ah, ah, what's that? Premonition unlocked. Whoa. Okay. So, what's this? Torpedo hole? Wait, no, this is a fucking airplane. They don't have torpedoes. Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Concerned? Live a little. Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Don't do dumb shit. Holy hell. I get that you're assholes, but you guys dying, I mean too early, would not make good content. Live long enough, flip. please. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Mysterious ship. It is nowhere to be seen. Wait, what's this? I saw something. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. Hmm. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. It's not like there's gonna be treasure in here. It's a Warcraft. It's not like they have gold or anything. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. The fuck? The bang stick. Good thing we brought the bang stick. That guy has a gun. He's moving around. Not scary at all. Jump scare time. Whoa, whoa. Fucking I eel. I wet my wetsuit. My life gives you lemons. Ew. So, pilot and co-pilot, gotta be. They're dead. Plane crash not high on my list of kind of, perish. maybe. So, you just move around, check out the pilot seat. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure you should be like fiddling with rusty stuff after? You know, getting that wound. Oh, Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch anything else, please! This is a really dumb idea. Let's get out of here. Good god. 
Are we really gonna touch him? Fuck. Touch him! Shake him. <laughs> We're gonna shake him. Excuse him, moi. Hello. Uh, he's holding something. Oh. What's this? Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. They obviously crashed. Let's get out of here. Shit's stirring on the boat. Hey, why'd we... How'd we... Why'd we get back inside? I wanna leave. There we go. Let's head out. I hope, you know... Things don't happen... When we're going out. Why are we leaving him behind? Where are we supposed to go? Are we just supposed to keep looking for stuff? Hmm. I think we need to go back. There has to be something we have to interact with, right? Do we have to grab this? I think we have to grab this. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go for it. Well. It wasn't a choice to begin with, I guess. Wow! The illusion of choice in a choice game. Fancy that. This is so dangerous. Relationship updated. I guess she trusts us more? Oh no. You're gonna die. An octopus, really? That was a bit creepy, but okay. Ah! Oh, fuck! We got it! God damn these QTEs! We're alive! For Did now. You stupid down here? That's it. One chance, you get that. I was fine. Chill out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. Searching in progress. Clear, clear, clear. That's it? That's what we came down here for? Um, flip it around? It was a rescue plan. Launched from a US base. Oh shit. Were they trying to rescue the ship? They were on their way to help out a ship. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, fuck. We gotta get out of here, now! Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. A shark? Really? Oh god! You go with the shark scare? I think the shark's the least of our problems. It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh... Oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Really? <laughs> Down I here? Can't tell, because we're underwater. But I'm on my knees right now. A shark's uh -huh. gonna eat that. Julia, will you marry me? <laughs> Just say nothing. You need to process this. Julia. I'm serious. I'm shocked, need time, loving, whatever. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> well. You guys are gonna but die I a horrible death. <laughs> you wanna get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Uh, oh no. Well, they were kidnapped. Great. Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah. What 
the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Oh, fuck. Uh, say nothing. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. Let's go. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Was that a grill? There was a little, uh, mishap. With the barbecue. You fucking debated us with a grill? The whole boat was lit up. What's with the other boat? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys. Can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. Yeah, they're totally going to live a happy ending. You seem disappointed. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother. Intrepid Brad is a strong word. Big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? We're just leading him on. Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Thank you.